A local photographer springing into action, capturing some unbelievable moments during the night of civil unrest in Grand Rapids last year. Andy Visakas is joining us now with some of the images he captured, along with what it was like to be there in those moments. Good morning, Andy. Good to see you. Good morning. So kind of just take us back to when you first got out there. What were you seeing? Um, I was watching national television and of the riots in all the other cities and I got a text, a couple of texts saying, hey, are you downtown? And I put it on local news and I saw all the destruction that was going on. So I grabbed some gear, went downtown and I just could not believe the amount of people that were down there and the damage that was going on. Andy, you know, as a photographer, you was it was your I guess your your camera's eye going crazy as far as what to shoot. There was so much to get. Uh, how did that all work out in your brain? And then obviously taking pictures. Uh, very much so. I wanted to just like um, get pictures of the event for historical purposes, and I was taking photos of large panes in front of um, businesses and banks that were broken. And then behind me, I would hear a crowd cheer when another large pane of glass broke. So I kind of walked a block over, and then I found a mob of a few hundred people, and they were just basically watching the crowd of the rioters, um, you know, 15 around there people, just going from building to building, breaking windows, breaking um, car windows, and the, the mob or the crowd would just basically follow them. So I kind of went along with them and everybody was live streaming. A few people were taking pictures and I thought, okay, this is where everyone is at. So I just started taking some photos. And as a photographer, what did it feel like to be part of a moment like that? Have you been in any other similar situations and kind of what have you taken away from this? I have never seen anything like that, uh, only on TV. Never experienced it personally. I felt like I was in uh, another major city, much, much larger than Grand Rapids. And a lot of the people that I was standing around, they just kept on saying, I cannot believe this is happening in my town. This, this can't be Grand Rapids. So the, the spectators were not violent. They were just in awe as much as I was. So in between making small talk, between some of the people I was just taking some photos of what was going on and in the back of my mind I was thinking wow this is this is where I grew up and so I noticed that some of the pictures behind you look like they're from uh, that uh, the unrest there what have you done with them is there an exhibit uh, you know what have you done with all of your work uh, um, I did, do have a couple of my favorites of a gentleman that was jumping on top of the car as well as one of the police cruisers that actually when I took this photo there was a small explosion so perhaps a fire extinguisher or some safety feature inside the building maybe airbags blew up uh, that kind of startled the crowd and then we decided wait a minute there might be some gas in the car maybe some ammunition a live gun so everybody kind of backed off a little bit um, ironically for safety's sake but um, I have some photos that I've selected, and I would not mind um, having a display of them at, at some point in time, uh, but I've not actively searched that out yet. Yeah. Well, Andy, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much.